So I brought Graham in here because we want to talk to you about the results, okay? Sure. So um, it is completely clear that you were not honest during the testing, and I think you already know that. Um, you did not pass the polygraph test. Okay. Okay. So now we need to talk about what actually happened. And I feel like you're probably ready to do that. I didn't. I didn't lie to you on that polygraph. I promise. Chris, I, I'm. I'm. I know. Chris, stop. It's time. I just I'm stop for a minute. Take a deep breath. I I want you to take a deep breath right now. There's a reason you feel sick to your stomach, and when people hold stuff inside, it makes you physically ill. And I can just tell on your face, I can tell you tell from the second you walked in that you were wanting to just come clean and just be done with this. And I appreciate that because you knew sitting down in that chair that you weren't going to pass today. And you knew I was going to find out because I told you that. And then you continued to stay knowing that you could at the end say, you know what, I just need to get this off my chest. Like I just need to tell you what happened. We're not, we're not here to play games. We're not here to do any of that with you. We just want to know what happened. So can you start from the beginning and tell us what happened? Everything that I've, to, I've told you, I did, I did not lie on this polygraph. I am, I don't know how much I could, I could tell you right now. Like, I did not. Yeah, it's, it's, not I even, it's not even an option right now because uh -huh. you did not pass the polygraph. Uh -huh. So I know you were being deceptive. So that's not even an issue, an issue right now. The issue right now is what happened to Shanann, Bella, and Celeste. That's the issue right now. Okay. Okay. So let's talk about that. I've I know I know you want to tell us. I, I can I can see it in your face. Holding this lie in is gonna do nothing for you. I, I know this. Like okay. I'm not like trying to like cover things up like it Yeah but you kinda are because in in no, it's normal. Normal people would do that. Normal people that make a mistake initially are going to go, I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't do anything. That's normal. I would expect that. It's just like if you ask your kid, you know, did you write on the wall? And they go, no. And you're like, I, you have marker on your hand. Like, I know you just wrote on the wall. And they're like, oh, okay. That's a natural reaction that someone's going to initially lie about something like that and then eventually tell the truth. So this is your eventually telling the truth time. This is where this is where the rubber meets the road, Chris. Like, don't let this continue any longer, please. I, I'm not trying to make anything continue. Like, I want them back home. Like, but you know they're not coming back home. You know I, that. I don't know in the back of my head. I'm, I hope they come back home. But you know they're not. I, I hope they come back home. Mm -hmm. And I don't know they're not coming back home. Chris, Tammy and I are confused, okay? And here's what we're confused about. I told you that we've done some work overnight. Yeah. I told you that we've got a lot of leads, okay? That wasn't a lie. I know. We know a lot more than you think we do, okay? And here's what we're confused. You're this great guy, and I'm not just telling you that, okay? I'm telling you that because everyone tells us that, okay? We can't find anyone to say anything bad about you. Chris is a great guy. He's a good father. He's a good man. We're confused as to why you're not taking care of your beautiful children. I'm not taking care of them right now. Right now. Where are they? I don't know where they're at. I, honest, I do not know where they are at. If I could have my babies back home right now, I would. I want them back. I want everybody back. That is the God honest truth.
out why there's two Chris's. Okay. We talked about that last night. Yes. We just can't figure it out. There's a Chris. Okay. If somebody asked me, my kids child or teen, I would say, I don't know, go after them all. That's the truth, right? And so it is very surprising to me and it warms my heart that you're the type of dad who can pack a bag in the morning and you know just what to put in there and you know just what to put in there as a backup in case they have an accident, okay? You know what the clothes to put in there, you know what they have for breakfast, you know what they have for a snack and a dinner and a nighttime snack. You can tell me the book you read to your daughters, okay? I know you love them and you're not faking that, are you? That's real, okay? There's a lot of guys who come in here and try to tell me that, and I know they're lying, okay? Because they can't answer those questions that you can answer, okay? But you aren't here today lying about something else. So we need to talk about that, okay? About you, daughter. I know. And this is very good. Keep I, 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 I'm not proud of it. I. I don't think anything like that could happen. I don't think I'd ever do it, but I did. I know. Keep going. She accused me of it. I denied it. I, I, I cheated on her, and I feel horrible for it. Like she was pregnant, and it was. I don't want. I didn't hurt her. I cheated on her. I hurt her emotionally. I cheated on her. And I feel absolutely f horrible about this, but that's what I've been holding. I, I when I, I didn't go to the Rocky game, I was with her. Okay. I went to dinner with her. Okay. Keep going. That five weeks I was alone, I was with her most most of the time. You're doing a good job. This is the Chris that I knew would come out today. This is the Chris who tells the truth because you're a truth teller. When I tell you I fell out of love, it's because I fell in love with her. Absolutely. Okay. I mean, that's God's honest truth. Okay. Who is her? So I, I don't want to get her involved in this. I don't want to ruin her life. Like it's some, something like this. I don't want her involved in this. Okay. So can we talk about that a little bit? Yes. I knew that you would say you didn't want to get her involved. Well, I, I, just cause I cause you'd like she's, to take she's, care of She's a wonderful person. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, she knew I was married, yes. And I told her we were going through issues, yes. yes. And I told her that, you know, we were going to get, you know, at the end, like, we were going to get separated. Like, once I figured out what that was, I didn't know what that was going to be. I know. I had no idea. I, I like, you know, I saw her, took my breath away, and... I'd never thought in a million years that could happen. I know. I know you think I'm a favorite, but, um, like, but like, it was, I never felt that way about anybody, like, anybody in my lifetime. Mm -hmm. Chris, that's not your fault. No, I'm, I'm, I, I, no, 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 I'm just, well, I'm, can we do this? Um, I know you want to take care of her, because it's because you're a type of guy who takes care of women. It is. You took care of your wife, you took care of your daughters, you were very good at taking care, and you want to take care of her. So can we make a deal? I don't think this girl did anything to hurt anybody, but I can't walk out of here wondering. So can we leave her out of it? Okay. And get back to your wife and your daughters. Okay. Where are they? That I do not know. That was what I was holding back. Like I didn't know like what I did. I know, Chris, in the interview today, you weren't asked about infidelity. You were asked about... That was, I was holding back from last night. That's when what you, you feel today. That's not how that works. You would have reactions to every single question, not just the ones that we talked about being important. Like the ones you wanted me to lie about, I like, is that what you're talking about? No, the ones about her disappearance yeah. and knowing where she's at and about what you about seeing her last. I was not lying about those things. So can, I, can I tell you what I think? Yes. Okay. So, going into that interview today with Tammy, where we strapped you in, we knew 
We knew all about Nikki. Okay? All about her. And you're doing a very good job right now because you didn't have to tell us about her, but you did. Uh, I could hold that in anyone. I know. I, I, we could see it in your chest and in your eyes. Okay? Here's the challenge that we have. We knew about Nikki, and so we didn't need to ask you about her in the polygraph. We just didn't need to because we knew. Okay? And so that's why we didn't ask you because we already knew the answer. Okay? We're very, very worried about your daughters and your wife. I am too. Okay? So can I tell you maybe, um, based on the people that I've talked to and Tammy's talked to, based on all the investigations we've done, based on your cell phone, both your cell phones, your wife's cell phone, Nikki's cell phone, okay? Based on talking with family members and friends and based on talking with everyone. Here's what we know, okay? And I'm not going to lie to you right now. Here's what we know, okay? Chris is a good man. Everyone said it. Okay, I'm not just telling you that because I, you know, want to blow smoke here. You're a good man, okay? Nobody can fake answers about packing a backpack. Nobody. You either pack a backpack for your kids or you don't, okay? This should have been the happiest time of your marriage, okay? You and Shanann. This should have been the happiest time. She's making a little money. She's making good money. You're making great money. You both have a job. You have beautiful kids. You have a beautiful house. You're in Colorado. Clean air. Good people. Okay? And on top of that, you look pretty good now. You're pretty fit. Okay? This should have been a time in your marriage where you guys were happy and thriving and productive. Okay? And I believe that Shanann's the reason none of that happened. I believe that she's a controlling person. Maybe doesn't listen to you as much as she should. I think that she can do whatever she wants and you can't. Okay? I think if you were to go to a restaurant, she would order whatever the hell she wants. And as soon as you order a nice steak, she says, whoa, buddy. Okay? A woman that lets her man do all of the backpack packing and all of the cooking. I do all the cooking, but yeah. she cooks like I yeah. do like some things here and there. Okay. That's because you're a good person, and I think that she started on the path to leave the marriage. Okay. It's ironic that we're talking about you and Nikki. I think that she was the one who started on that path first. What do you think about that? I wouldn't have thought about that. Okay. And the other thing I think is interesting is, even though she is that type of person that's controlling, doesn't listen, does what she wants, is walking away from her kids, here you are defending her. Because to your core, you want to take care of the people you love. Okay. Now that's the reason why we want to give you an opportunity today to just help us find them. Okay. Will you do that for us? I'll do whatever I can to help to find where they're at. Okay. So when she asked you, do you know where they are, or are you going to tell the truth about where they are, you failed miserably. Okay. Why? I'm, I'm a nervous person. Like every question I asked, every question, it felt like I did. I wouldn't even say the right thing. That's not how the polygraph works. I don't like. I don't know. Like. What it reads like through, I know she was saying about the autonomy of of the process, but like I don't know where they're at. Chris, right now your dad's outside. He flew across the country to help. Okay, you're lying to him. to everyone you talk to. And they all bought it. Will you please help us find your babies? I want to find them. I've told you over and over, I want to find everyone. Can we go back to that night? Yeah. You know that we have texts. And we know that there's an Alexa in your house. Mm -hmm. And you know that those are trained to record distress. Okay. You know that we know the content of Nikki's text messages and your text messages and Shanann's text messages. 
Okay. I didn't know you knew where Nikki was until tonight, right now, so. Okay. Tell us about that night again, and please tell the truth this time. I, I told you the truth. I, um, I promise I've told you the truth. Like, I woke up at 4 o'clock. I woke up at 4 o'clock. Got dressed, got ready. 4.15, me and Shannon talk. About the house, about the separation. Did you guys talk about Nikki? She, she accused me of, like, all right, well, you know, is there somebody else? Sure. I didn't say it. You denied it? Yeah. Okay. Because she brought up, like, you know, like, well, was there a $68 dollars charge at um, dinner the other night? Okay. Was there two of you? And then was with two of you, wasn't it? Yes. Okay. That's me. Okay. So it sounds like at that time there was maybe you weren't quite ready to just say, say I this, this I is everything. I couldn't. I couldn't say it. Okay. We were already crying hard enough. I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't say that. Okay. What did you say? I just told her like, I want this separation has to go. I want separation. Okay. Was it her idea to sell the house of yours? She initiated the realtor the week before in an email. Why? Because we were talking about we, the marital issues. She's like, well, you can't live afford to live on our own. Well, she can't afford to live on her own. I can't afford to live on her own. So she was like, we need a contact man. Okay. And see. And who did you contact? Well, she contacted Ann, our realtor. Ann? Yeah. Okay. Would Ann say the same thing that your wife con initiated the contact? Yeah. Okay. She would. And then on Monday, I was I texted her to see if she could, what she could do. Okay. And that's in there, too. You're fired. Go ahead. Tell me about the pregnancy. Was that your idea or hers? She said it was about, she was about 80-20. Well, I was about, I went to the pros and cons of it. Like, after she got, after she got pregnant, she told everybody that it was mainly my idea. Is that true? Yeah, I mean, it was, I, I wanted a boy. Did you want to get pregnant? Mm hmm Okay. And then, after the fact, she said it was mainly me that wanted it, and she was about, you know, she was like seventy thirty against it at that point. Like she would tell her friends that. Yeah. And I was just like, well, what seventy thirty against it? Like why? Mm. Okay. Can you understand that some of this just doesn't make sense? I don't know. Okay. How is it possible that a woman and two kids are just completely gone off the face of the earth? I promise you, I have, I have nothing on my hands that's, I did nothing to those kids or her to make them vanish. So tell me what happened then. I believe you that, that you did nothing on your hands. What happened? When I left, I mean, it's on video that I left and no, I was in my truck. I didn't like load anything into my truck besides my tools, my container, my book bag, my water jug, my lunchbox. Okay. But then what happened? I drove out of the driveway. No, before you drove out of the driveway. What happened with your wife and your kids? I didn't do anything like that. They were still in the house. Where are they? Where did they go? I don't know, sir. I really don't know. Your wife's not the type of person to vanish. I know she's not. She had ten things on her schedule that meant she was going to be there the next day, that day, the yeah. day after that, with friends, with a doctor. Okay? She didn't leave because she wanted to. Okay. So what happened? I didn't do anything to her or the kids. Was it an accident? I didn't do anything. Was it an accident? There was, there was no accident. I don't know if there was an accident in the house. I wasn't there for it. It's a big deal if it's an accident because we can work with that, Chris. No. And I there's think no, that's maybe what happened. There's no, I did not call it an accident. I didn't do anything to my wife and kids. Was it a misunderstanding? There's no misunderstanding. Like we had that talk. There was a misunderstanding where I I didn't tell her about the affair. Okay. I didn't. That, okay. that was the misunderstanding. Like sure. miscommunication. Yeah, misunderstanding. Yeah. Good. But I probably should have told her right then. Honestly, I mean everything was out on the table anyways. Right. I should have told her right then. But I didn't because I 
I just couldn't bring myself to do it. What was your plan? What were you going to do? I mean, how was the separation going to work? Like, once we got separated, I would get my own place, and then we, I mean, 50 50 split with the kids, I was hoping. Mm -hmm. And what about Nikki? Take it slow and just see if the, you know if anything develops. Like when I'm, you know, at my own place. Okay. I just I just find it hard to hear you talk about just having this emotional, you know, conversation with Shanann and you're bawling and crying together. And you have not shed one tear in two days that you've been here. No, not not one. And I help me understand that because I don't get it. You're these are your baby girls, and you have not shed one tear over them not being around. Chris, I I I, 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 I lose my four year old in the store for ten seconds, and I start to go panic, panic. I have not seen any of that from you at all. Help me understand that. I love those girls. I I would never do any just because I haven't shed a tear. You get yeah, no, that's weird. I, Is I, that I, weird? I, I, don't don't look into that like I don't love my well, kids. Tell me, explain wife. to me. You're you're crying with your wife that you're leaving her. Yeah. But you don't cry that your two little baby girls. I'm hoping are they're still around. Some I'm hoping they're still somewhere. Yeah, but you alive. don't have them right now. You're I not know. reading stories to them at night. I know. You're not giving them midnight snacks. You're not giving them their medicine. You're not waking up with them in the morning. I know this. Like I. So that I, should cause you pain. It does cause me pain. But I don't see that. I, I don't see that. I want to see I, the Chris that cares. I want to see I, the Chris that you know, feels bad about what he did and wants to, you know, get this off his chest and be done with this and let us find your little girls so that they're not out there in the middle of a field or whatever somewhere. Like, don't do that. I, I love those girls to death. Then show us that. Show us that. Show this us this Chris, that not that this Chris. I'm not, I'm not showing you that Chris. I'm, I'm showing you the Chris that cares about his girls and his wife. Just because I haven't shed a tear, it shouldn't make you feel like I haven't, that the love isn't there for them. It's weird. It doesn't I'm, make I'm, sense. I understand that. You, you have to... I, 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 I totally see where you're coming from. Trust me, like, there's nothing... I, just because Chris, I... Chris, people can be pushed to the point where they do something that they regret. It happens I'm, every single day. I know. But so part of what makes you a man is the guy that goes really fucked up but this is what I did and I'm going to pay for what I did and I'm going to tell you what I did and I'm going to be honest about it Chris we can keep talking to you once we find these girls okay so once we find these girls and your wife right no matter how we find them no matter what condition they're in we can keep talking to you and you can tell us guys it's not as bad as it looks and you can say let me tell you what happened? I was never comfortable with you, Graham, or with you, Tam. No, I wasn't comfortable yet. But now that everything's known, now that these girls are found and Shanann's found, however they're found, it's okay. We can keep talking to you. Okay. Chris, did Shanann do something to them? No, I don't know. I'm serious. I, I have no clue. No, you wouldn't know because they didn't leave the house. Like, well, did Shanann do something to them, and then did you feel like you had to do something to Shanann? <laughs> The, the, they were at the house when I left. They were there. They weren't there. They didn't leave. They vanished. They were the vanished. only way they could have left is in your truck. There's no way, because like, I didn't just throw them in, in my truck. But they, you know your truck has GPS, yes. right? Yes. Because you told your boss, like, yes. hey, I'm going to the separation, I'm maybe staying yes. at a friend's house, whatever. You know that thing pings every 10 seconds? Yep. So we will know you exactly I know. where you went. And your company's giving that to us. I know. Okay. Are we not asking the right questions, Chris? No, you're, not. you're asking all the, cross, all the questions. What are we not asking you right? What, what are we doing wrong? We're not doing anything wrong. Did Shanann do something? 
she did anything to these kids. We both love them with all our hearts. There's no way. It could have been an accident. Something happened in the house that you know about. You failed the polygraph test, Chris. This is not about did you leave and your wife vanished and you didn't know anything about it. That was not what you were asked, okay? Okay. We know that something happened to all three of them. But I want to know did something happen to these baby girls first that you had to take into your own hands and deal with? You had to clean it up for Shanann. Chris, you got to tell us. There's something that happened to these baby girls. Look at them. I know. Before he came in, I was just watching videos. We have no doubt you love these girls with all of your heart. I have no doubt. But we make mistakes. And that's okay. It's what we do with those mistakes that make us who we are. Chris, it seems like you're thinking about it right now. What are you thinking about? She could have. I feel like you cleaned up for her. I feel like that's the type of guy that you are. Which one of these has the breathing thing? Well, they both have inhalers, but she, she has the EOE. Encephalitis lepiditis. Did she have problems breathing? And probably like well, with her allergies and whatnot, like if she had anything next, nice, but she's had two of the endoscopies and everything in the surgeries I told you about. Do you think she had trouble breathing that night? And she had freaked out? And didn't want to live without her baby girl? So. Did you hear about the homicide that happened in Aurora where the guy beat that family to death with a ball peen hammer? Mm -hmm. The only person that survived was a three year old sibling. And that sibling grew up to be a total mess. No family, no mom and dad. Your brother, sister, just her by herself. She says, I wish I could have died with them. And there are times that people freak out. I've seen it. I mean, I've been in law for, some, for almost 20 years. I've seen it. Parents freak out and they're like, oh my God, like, I can't have my baby girls live without each other. They're best friends like twins they're you know they wake each other up in the morning and I understand um, that we had a mom in Castle Rock that suffocated both her baby girls she's like I just my husband was going to take them and she's like I just couldn't just couldn't handle. I thought I was doing right by them I thought I was saving them pain. And I get it. Why? Why was she saving them pain? Because she didn't want them to have to live without their mom. Mm -hmm. Chris, this is a weight that's going to be on you for the rest of your life until we resolve it tonight. Unless we can talk about this more tonight, this is going to follow you forever. I promise you, when you start talking to us, you will feel better. I know you already feel better about getting the Nikki off your chest. Please don't, please don't like, involve her in the news or anything like that. She can't do that. you got to help me. I know. Chris, we're giving you a lifeline right now. You need to take it. You need to reach out and take it. Did they look like this tonight, the last night you were with them? She had that dress on, like... On the eighth or ninth, it wasn't in this, but she had that dress on. Cause I remember I had the two buttons on the back. I take them off so I get her pajamas on that night. Did you guys make sure that they were warm when they left the house? I'm 
make sure they were warm. And they're they're always warm. They're they always have when they're in their beds. They're always warm. Okay. Were you guys taking care of them at the very end? Or they're always they're they're always taken care of. They're always they never miss a meal. them out of the house with their blankets and their animals. Like, that's because you cared. That's what a caring dad does. I mean, I'm always caring for these kids. There's no, nothing in this, in this world for my life. I believe that. I believe that, and I believe someone made a mistake, whether it was you, you or Shanann. And you either cleaned up after Shanann or you made the mistake and... I mean, I want to believe that maybe Shanann did it and you felt compelled to fix this so Shanann didn't look bad. That's what I, that's what I want to believe. But I don't know, you're not telling me that, so it makes me think the worst. Like. Did you? I did not do anything. All three of them? I did not do anything in this kids. Not do anything. What did Shanann do to Tell us, Chris. Chicks are crazy. Can I talk to my dad or something? Absolutely. Do you want to bring him in here? No, uh, I just can't talk to my dad. I flew across the country. Hey, Chris, how about this? If we brought your dad in here, would you please tell him what happened? I just go talk to him. I've been in here for like five or six hours and I'm like, absolutely. Chris, look at me, man. It's not going to feel any better. He deserves an answer. He's your best friend. There's only one person you wanted here most, and it's your dad. Yes. What would you tell him? I, I love him, and I don't. I just, I just want him to be by my side. Okay. He knows more than we do that you're a good man. And he knows as much as you want to protect you, um, your wife, Shana. I think he would tell you to do the right thing. Before we get him, can I go out there and talk to him? Well, I don't know that you want to do it out there because there's a lot of people going through the halls. Should we bring him in here? We'll step out. Okay. Do you need a few minutes with him? Okay. okay. Can we just ask a couple more questions? It seems like you're about to get it off your chest. Is there any way that you can help us understand more about Shanann and why maybe something happened? So that we don't get a bad picture about her. And what I mean is, what happened that night with her? As far as I got I talked to her, with the girls. It's like when we were having that conversation in bed there. Mm -hmm. Like when I when I talked to her about the separation and the house and mm -hmm. she asked me about the affair and okay. and that's that's how that conversation went. Okay. And God, she was distraught. She she had like mascara on her face, all that. I mean, okay. it was it was emotional. Well how about this? If we bring in your dad Will you promise me that you'll talk to him? I'll talk to him. Okay. Will you promise me that you'll tell him everything? Would it be easier if you told him and he told us? I don't know. Okay. I don't know if that's going to be easier or not. I tend to think it's not. I think you're the type of guy that needs to take responsibility because you always have taken responsibility. You've always made the right choice. So. I guess I'm just worried that if we bring your dad in here 
that could distract you. What do you think? Could distract me from like, talking to you? Yeah. I, I, just, I just need to talk to him. Okay. Alright. I know you'll do the right thing. I do. I don't know how long it's going to take. Um, I think that you need to think a little bit more about that. Okay. And you need to realize that your dad is not going to stop loving you no matter what you tell him. You are his child. And he will not stop loving you. Never. Never. And this is not the last chapter in anyone's story. At all. Okay. He's been here the whole time. You know, he, he didn't want to leave you. Have you ever seen, uh, sometimes when an animal's owner dies, they stick around forever? I mean, that's your dad. Poor guy didn't want to leave today, okay? So, keep that in mind. He wants to hear it all.
your legalization is going to work. Mm-hmm. Um, she freaked out over the separation there with him. I don't think it was, she laid back down, but that's not the top stairs, but I heard like a little commotion upstairs, but I didn't think anything of it. Mm-hmm. Upstairs and she is. Mm-hmm. I can see, like, she was not up. She was choking her for Did she kill her? They're, they're blue. Both of them? Yeah. She choked both of them to death. I freaked out in the champagne.
just profusely denying it.
っていけへんでもない。<笑>
We do prefer you. Can you and me and Tammy and Ronnie get in the car and just drive out there? You just point it? Chris, I know they're gone, but they're still your babies. And you're still their dad. And you're one of them. And you don't want someone else to find them out there. You don't, I promise you. Give us a second so we can kind of get some things arranged. Do that. Ryan, do you want to stand in here with me? What the fuck is this? This is just fucking horrible. Can you work it for me? 
burger the burger can we uh the ash person in okay and where are the girls at mm-hmm. in these mm-hmm. so which one is do you know which one are they in the tanks can somebody who doesn't know what they're doing open those okay it's easy to open what's them. in the tanks it's a mixture of oil and water There was a sheet found down here? Mm-hmm. What is that from? That was what Chanel was wrapped in. What about the curlies? What were they wrapped in? Just in the pajamas? Not with their blankets or anything? Where did their blankets and toys and stuff go? Probably a little bit of land or something right here. Where did you set them or put them? That was right here but that. So how did you dig this out? I'm assuming that's under dirt. How did you dig that? Is that a shovel in that my truck is still with that? It's like a work shovel. Is it still there? How was Shanann touched? in the north. Is that what she got in the bed with? Do you remember what color her shirt on, sir? Her underwear? I think her shirt was either black or gray. My underwear was probably blue. How much time passed, do you think, from the time that she was back in the bed until you put them in the truck. to 
get them? Yeah. Is, uh, does someone have to climb up to the top and unscrew something and then lower something down to get them? They're like, it's just a hatch on the top and they're like 20 foot tanks. How far down are they? That, wherever the food level was in the tank, I'm not sure. Okay. What was it when you were there? I don't know. I didn't. Okay. I wasn't looking for that. Okay. All right. You may go out there or no? I don't think so. Would you prefer not to? Uh, I didn't know if you needed help going, getting there. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I think once we got that picture, because we didn't really know um, how much uh, about the location that the other police officers knew, that it sounds like they knew somehow right, right how to get to 319. So, and I think that's how they got that picture. Does your um, does your nanny cam? Do you have nanny cam, right? It's like a monitor. A monitor. Is it, is it a video one? It's like it cycles back and forth between what? Bell and CC's room. Oh, okay, okay. Is there any chance it records? No. Okay. I'm just wondering, what do you think? What do you think ultimately made um, Shanann snap? Knowing that that had an affair, or and she knew, she just needed me to admit it, and I would admit it. Yeah. Okay. So we just started talking about. Um, I asked if there's any chance that the nanny cam could have recorded Shanann doing what she did, um, and then we kind of we were just getting into, you know, what Chris thinks about why she snapped. Mm -hmm. um, he's, he's just saying distress from knowing about the other girl. Um, knowing but she didn't really know, right? I mean in her heart she thought she she knew. She just wanted me to admit it. Can we talk about a couple tough things? Um, I think we need to get it out of the way and just really get it out. Um, just to make sure you have every chance to explain exactly what happened and we have every chance to ask questions. Um, so, the conversation happened. You go downstairs. She's still upstairs. And then you see what? I hear this commotion upstairs. Just like, you know, like, like little noises like that. Okay. I didn't think anything of it. Is it, I mean, was she? Uh, this? That's, that's when I was walking out from the back. Okay. 
I see something in the back. Yeah. Okay. But she was doing this. It looked, it looked like it was like this. Yeah. Okay. And then was she, she face up, face down, what? Off to the side. Oh, she was only on her side. Okay. And that's when I pulled her off. And okay. She, 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 well, she was limp and she was blue. Okay. There was no movement at all. Oh. She was limp and blue or limping and blue? Limp and oh, blue. Limp and blue. Okay. It's like her body was like. Right. You pick her arm up and it turns with falls. Okay. Um, and then what happened? I looked at her and I just got on top of her and you got on top of Shanann? Did the same thing. Okay. Did you have to knock her down? No. She was already on the ground? I was like, I just pulled her off on the bed. And oh, kind of one move. Yeah. Okay. So it's not as though you no, I just pulled her off. No. Like I went up, pulled her down. Okay. I did that. I, I didn't know. I lost it. Sure. Okay. So Shanann was laying on the ground? On the bed. On the bed. Yeah, like when she was on top of the seat, I saw what was happening. I um, pulled her and went down. I was on the bed. How the bed? What kind of? I tried to get it full of clean, you know? I think it's a. Uh, I'm sure it's probably a coin of some sort. Okay. I'll pick for the more. I think. So where was the last? In the she was all the way to the top. To the top? Yeah. And I went in and pulled it in down. It was across the waist. Like so she was laying, laying this way. That's how it was. Okay. I want the key room. Mm -hmm. So then, is this picture as you're standing in the doorway to go in? What is that? Is that where okay? And then, so were they closer to this side or this side? She usually sits in the middle. Okay. And then, so your wife was right on top of her. You could just see that. And then, did you pull her this way or that way? Or so I looked where her head was on this side. Right over here? Yeah. On the, on the left, as you're looking at it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did she put up a fight? Oh, 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 I lost it so much that it didn't feel like she did. Okay. You're a pretty strong dude. Um, um, did she, was she yelling, was she screaming, was she talking, was she scratching you, nothing? Uh, I, I didn't even feel, I just, I just felt such anger that not a, nothing, I didn't feel anything. Okay. Alright. Like if she did, nothing, nothing's on me. Was it quick, was it slow, was it? I was so numb, it felt like it was, it was over. Christ. Over fast? Okay. Felt like I would. Is it possible her neck's broken? No, I don't think so. Okay. Mm -hmm. I've never broken her bones, so I don't, I don't know. Okay. All right. Um, was it a choke like this, or was it like a headlock? A choke. Okay. Right. Can you put your hand out like you had your hand? Like that? Like that? And your wife, you saw her with one hand or two hands? I just kind of from the back, I couldn't really like tell. I don't know, she was on top of her. And the monitor's not like color, it's black and white. It's well, at yeah. nighttime, it's black and white. Okay. It's dark. Do you, because you went up the stairs, right, to talk to mm -hmm. Shanann again? And then, did you think it was weird that she sat in the room where you left her? Mm -hmm. So I walked in and looked around and saw the monitor and I saw Bella. And then switched over to CC pretty fast and that's when I saw that. And did you have any inkling that um, between the time that you finished the talk and the time that you found Shanann choking CC, you had no inkling she was going to do it? Or the Buffalo Oaks kid more than when you know. Okay. I mean, people, people in my family have always said she's unstable. My friends have said she's unstable, but I never like would have thought in a million years. Who says she's unstable? 
my family, my friend Mark, people that have seen her around me. My bad picture of her. Well, it doesn't look good. I'm not gonna lie. Looks actually pretty bad. Is it, is it possible that when we get these girls, you know, uh, Bella, Cece, and Shanann, is it possible when we get them um, that we're going to see um, anything other than the cause of death being her hands? No. Okay. And what I mean by that, and I should be very clear, is that um, it, it's some, some of it's hard to believe that your wife did it, uh -huh. right? You can imagine that. I don't know. Okay. So is it possible that maybe she um, did one, and then you got Shanann, so you did to Shanann what she did to one of your daughters, and then you had to just do it to the other no, one? No, no, no. Okay. So is there, that, that's not, no, that's not what happened? No. Okay. Um, is it possible that, is there any other way where we might see your hands on the girl's neck? No. Lord, okay. no. Okay. And you know what I mean? Because when we find their, their little bodies, oh, no. we're going to see the diameter of someone's hand yeah. and someone's fingers, right? So is it at all possible we're no. going to see yours? Okay. No. All right. And I know it's hard, and I know you're probably getting angry at my, my question, but we have to ask. Um, okay. Public knowing that Shanann killed her daughters. I did not hurt these girls. 
Are you okay with the public knowing that she Yeah, it's good. I did not hurt these girls. Chris, I'm not sure I believe Be there. Any, any of this makes sense. Are you sure Shanann didn't catch you in? Oh no, my God, no. Chris, you can imagine uh, that we're pretty cynical in our jobs, right? And tonight we've had to talk a lot about a lot of things, and. Don't get mad, but what it looks like is that you found a new life, and the only way to get that new life was to get rid of the old life. And I think that you killed these girls before their mom came home and then killed them now. And that's what we're kind of left, that's what we have to believe, because it just doesn't make sense. I mean, to her point, if I walked in and my kid was decapitated, I'd call an ambulance, mm -hmm. right? So Knowing there's no hope. It just it just doesn't make sense. It just doesn't add up. So either you're this monster who no. says, I just want this young hot girlfriend, so I'm gonna kill everyone and hope it works out or something. So I think we're very, very close to the truth, but not quite there yet. So if you're not that monster I'm not a monster. I didn't Home. My babies. Okay. So, tell us what actually happened. I told you what happened. I know, but, you know, we're getting later into the day. We've done this a few times, and we, we talk. Then we show you a little bit of what we're working with, some evidence and facts that we know, and then we, we kind of get our way to the truth. So, so the truth. Okay. Everything I've told you. True. So what's going to happen when their cause of death comes back to you? Or the girl's not going to. Okay. You sure? I'm 100% positive it's not going to come back to me. Well, who's going to come back to? She never was on top of CC. Okay. What are you hoping to say? I just want the truth. That is the truth. And then what about Bella? Bella was laid out sprawl on her bed. Okay. And I saw Shanann on top of Cece, so I ran in there. Okay. And what happens when a coroner looks and says it sees your fingerprints on her neck? It's not going to be my fingerprints. Okay. What is it going to be? It's going to be Shanann. Are you sure? Well, we don't know about Bella, right? But we don't know about Bella. Bella, it's I didn't see Jeanette on top of her. Okay. That's the commotion I heard upstairs. Yeah. I'm, I'm assuming. Okay. Why take their bodies out of the house and bury them? I was scared. I didn't know what else to do. Okay. Nothing, nothing, nothing was gonna, I, I didn't know what to do. Yeah. Scared. I honestly didn't know what to do. Scared of what? Scared of what everything was gonna look like. There's my two babies were gone, mm -hmm. and I, I just did that to my wife, and I was the only one left in the house. What do you expect is gonna happen? Yeah, it did look bad, right? It looked. I mean, this was a nightmare. Yeah. Okay. Just think of many problems that you've had with Shanann. At the end of the day. I'm like she was a pretty good mom, right? I was a pretty good dad as well. You never really know a person until you don't know a person. I just would hate 
for someone who can't defend themselves, like Shanann and Bella and Celeste. Like, I mean, if, if, if you're not being truthful about who took their lives, like, that's on them, too. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to do that to them. I'm not, I'm not doing that to them. I'm just saying, I mean... Well, I'm, I'm not doing that to them. I do think you were a good dad. I think you're... I think Shanann was a good mom. I think you guys were doing everything you could possibly do for those girls. I mean, look at them. Yeah. Why didn't you put Shanann in the tanks? Is there any reason that she would have a black eye, Shania? 
No. Not from a slap or a punch or nothing like that? Never. Okay. Punch or slap her. Is there any reason she would have a stab mark on her body? No. Okay. And no other reason for death? The coroner's not going to find rat poison in her stomach. The only way that she died, she was living, breathing, and wasn't living, breathing after your hands on her neck. Okay. What were you talking to Nikki about before your wife got home? Before she got home? We talked for like several hours. I covered it and we talked a lot. Just, right? Conversations and just random conversations. We talked a lot. Does Nikki know about any of this? Seriously? No, she doesn't. No, like, I mean, she knows, like, with, from the news and everything like that. Mm -hmm. Anything else? You can share with her anything? Does she know your wife was pregnant? She does now. And I told her that. She didn't know at the time? So you didn't tell her? So I was scared too. I felt like, you know, like she wouldn't even like go on a date with me. And she knew that, so it was Did she know you were married with kids? Yes. Okay. But just not pregnant, yes. I told her that, you know, like, we were act we had actively tried before we met. Oh, trying to get pregnant? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, she knew that. Um, you can imagine that when we go talk to people going forward, everyone's going to try to distance themselves from any of this. Yes. And so if what's going to happen when Nikki says, no, it was our plan to kill everyone and run off together.
really good today, Chris. Really good. I think you had about 24 hours of uh, just a hellish nightmare thrust upon you, and you know you certainly knew what you did, but I think you took a lot of steps to make it better today. Sorry I left you last night, and sorry that I did you good. Not okay. I'm glad you were here for a reason. Well, there's a reason why I didn't that I came in because yeah. it's a reason why I didn't come in with a lawyer either. So it's like kind of it's, it's gonna happen. So I appreciate that. You know, eventually they were going to find uh, them out there. So, I mean, it was kind of inevitable. And then you would have just been sitting at home waiting for that moment to happen. And then what? Then what does it look like? It looks. many people that say that you're an amazing guy and you would never do anything bad and never has never lost your temper and you know all those people that say that about you there's just as many that would say that about Shanann no. so we're going to struggle with that for a while no. I'm struggling with it right now I'll be no, honest I know you are I'm a mom no, no. anybody you know? would How do we prove best that she ended it? Examine. Oh yeah, I got that. That's the only thing. We're gonna we're gonna see her hand marks. The hand marks are not there. Okay. But there are gonna be hand marks, like they weren't smothered, no, you think? I don't, I don't I shouldn't have been smothered, no. And Bella I don't know, but she 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 was on top of her and her head was inside. And there was no pillow on top of her. I didn't see you on the camera off. I didn't see you on top of her. No. Why were there sheets in the trash in the kitchen? Because of those are the same ones out there. I didn't know what else to do. I knew eventually this was going to figure out find Shanann. I mean, because. So is she know, still wrapped in the sheet in, down in here? Mm -hmm. It was just laying off to the side, or maybe the wind took it. So it's right here now. Yeah. It was just next to the side. Yeah. Like you didn't even try and hide that. I, I, I was so scared. I didn't know what to do. Okay. Did someone uh, did someone come up on you or something? No. Okay. I mean, were you afraid they were going to start showing up? I knew they were, they were on their way out there, but I mean, it's a long way out there. So I know. Um, before I forget. I know that they collected a lot of electronics out of your house, mm -hmm. like routers and that kind of stuff. Um, like that's not going to show that she was using her phone like at a time that you said mm -hmm. she was strangling the kids mm -hmm. or something, right? Okay. Do you what is the password to like all the electronics in your house? I know there was an iPad. iPad should be two three eight five. Two three eight five. Um, is there a there's not one for the Apple Watches, is there? So it's two three eight five. Mm. Is that for yours too? Uh, three three eight seven. I'm sorry, what was yours? Three three eight seven. Two three eight seven. Um, and what other stuff do you have? Is there a router? Like, is there a password for that stuff? Shiny chair six. Okay. Came with the router. And spell for me. Uh, S H I N Y C H A I R six number six. Like that shiny chair six. Yes. Okay. And then what else is was in there? Is there a desktop computer? Yeah, that one. If if it has a password, it'd be um, four two eight four nine one five capital S lowercase W. Okay. And what about, is there anything else in the house? 
as far as electronics go, tablets. Well, the iPad's the only real set. The other ones are the kids' stuff, but there's like, they're just like Amazon Fires or whatnot. Okay. And you're, you have an iPhone what? Which one? Is that your personal one? Yes, iPhone like it's, it's a 7 Plus or something. What's the password to that one? 337. And what about your work phone? Same. Is that this one here? Mm -hmm. And then obviously Shanann had a iPhone, right? Mm -hmm. And what was her password? So it changed to 013119. What was that password? The uh, due date the next day. Okay. Nikki told me that one. Nicole told me that one. Okay. To me, Nikki yeah, we know that. I was getting us very confused. So, no other electronics. Uh, what about the Echo? Does it have a password? If it does, I don't never knew if it did or not. Okay. You just say Alexa and it starts listening. Oh, it's an Alexa? Is it that an Echo still? So, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The, the product's called an Echo. Okay. Any other ones that you can think of? Where do you guys think? Chase in USA. Which one was the, um, when you went out to dinner with Nikki? Chase. That was Chase. Was Chase. And USAA, is that mortgage? Is that bank? Is that uh, Chase is our mortgage lender. Okay. Do you have checking through them too, right? Yes. What do you guys use USAA for? Uh, we use that to pay mortgage too, but okay. it's just another, she had that before she met me. Okay. And in the accounts that you had personally, beyond all of this? Mm -hmm. Okay. What email is associated with that? Shannon Watts at gmail.com. Do you know her email password? Could read that 428 uh, It's any of her, if most of her passwords are that. Okay. Amazon, everything. And yeah, what is that? Is that a phone number you said? Yeah. What phone number is that? Her ex husband's mom. <laughs> okay, that's weird. <laughs> you stick with the password. She just remembers it? She they said were, it that long. They were really good friends. Oh, okay. So she just kept it. Do you have any other questions for us? Here's the bathroom. Yes, of course. Um, we do need to do one quick thing. Now that we know what we know, um, we're going to. Um, I need to check that you don't have any weapons on you or anything like that. Do you have any weapons on you? No. Okay. Um, we'll do that. We'll go to the bathroom. I'm not going to go in the stall with you, but I'm going to go with you. Um, and then we'll come right back here and we'll make a decision about how the rest of the night goes. All right, so you might have seen it up so I can check.
very much for taking a look at that recording. Yeah. Um, yes.